Um, hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome on in today. Happy Sunday. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Welcome on in today. Oh my goodness. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Thank you, Sarah. It's great for that to see that hype. How are you doing, my friend? Here bright and early today. Um, I kind of hopped on. Like I was not ready and I was like, okay, we're going to we're going to set up and go. So let's make sure my green screen looks OK. Yeah, I mean, it's it's doing its thing. It's doing its thing. That's for sure. Um, let's see. I was going to dress the bird right away. Get our um, our wheel spin going. We had the sun yesterday, so let's do a different one today. Um, Let's see what we've got. The palette. We get the um, the palette, the art palette today. So that's what we're going to be rolling with today, in case or unless anybody um, anybody else redeems that. Uh, happy Sunday. Feeling like a potato today. I don't want to move. Yeah. Um, that's kind of me too. <laughs> I mean, if I'm honest, that's definitely me too. Um, but I thought I'm going to stream a little bit. Um, how am I feeling? I'm feeling very similar to yesterday. I have a bit of a headache. Um, I have my dizziness, my brain fog. Um, again, we're, we're kind of just going to lay low today. We're going to tour some builds. Um, if anybody's here and wants to tour the builds, if not, I have no backup plan. <laughs> so, Sarah, we might be looking at all of your builds if nobody else ends up hanging out here today. Uh, maybe some of mine as well. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the plan today. Just really, again, nice and chill. I don't have to think too much. I don't have to try and be creative. Um, but weekends are good for that, you know. Uh, tomorrow I have, well, next week I have some testing to do. Like I have, uh, uh, have to go get some testing done tomorrow. I have some doctor's appointments. So next week they're going to be busy. So I'm okay with just laying low. Kevin, welcome on in. How are you doing today? Happy Sunday to you. Sunday fun day, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Definitely not Sunday fun day for me. Um, I, I'm too old for that. I don't, I don't drink much anyway. Um, anymore especially I have so many medications that it interacts with so let's just not go there um, we are not building today Kev if you are hanging out we are touring builds uh, would love to tour one of yours um, if you're going to be here that's definitely an option uh, I'd love to see some of yours too especially your Easter eggs oh my goodness um, my Easter eggs are the same. My Easter eggs are the same, if you're if that's what you're talking about. I always use the Totokilama um from the from the jungle adventure pack. So um that's what I do in every single build. You're totally welcome to your a build. Okay, to tour a build, I assume is what you meant to say. Yeah, so let's also cross our fingers, pray to the gods and goddesses and, and whoever else you whoever and whatever else you want to want to pray to that the gallery works um oh my god <laughs> yeah uh I, I i i got what you're saying i think i got what you're saying yeah tour belt got it got it <laughs> funny too funny so yeah what's everybody up to we do have our daily question fingers don't want to work today you know sarah was saying she's feeling like a potato i am I, I don't I can't even believe I got myself online and organized and everything to do this so I'm definitely feeling that daily question what was the last photo you took probably for most of us it's going to be on a smartphone um, but where you decide to place them would be fun to see that's cool I, I, I could appreciate that so my last photo I just looked just before I popped on is a screenshot of my oldest child who is non-binary so for like at least five years has gone by um, a gender neutral 
name um, and they just texted me and I took a screenshot of it um, so I would remember that they they want to change their name again to Froggy Bean so we're going to be so I'm going to have to get used to addressing them as Froggy now um, I didn't ask why that was the name but I think I saw them talking about it on Facebook and thinking about something that's not sort of a traditional name uh, they kind of appealed to them so that was my that's my last photo screenshot so that I would remember uh, I'm recovering from the Moderna shot number two day so feeling a little crummy oh no that's a bummer yeah I'm worried about that second one um, uh, 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 uh. Bobble the Bee welcome on in it is great to see you my friend thank you Sarah for being on top of those hellos um, I'm gonna go my game is like I'm seeing double I have a l overlay of my chat over my game and so I'm seeing some of the images from behind and it's kind of obscuring the text so we're gonna actually load into our game even though you all can't see that um, let's go into our build world um, yeah I'm, I'm due to get my second dose of the vaccine I got the Pfizer shot um, and I hear it's rough the second one can be rough for folks I mean everybody's different but I'm so happy to see a parent who actually respects their child's gender identi identity and name choice oh thank you Bob the Bee of course yeah um, I think of course like you know because of my oldest child <laughs> I have had to um, be really mindful of that type of thing of you know of people's of like addressing them with respect that they, de they deserve right and it's tricky like I I stumble still I stumble along you know I I use she very often um but I you know I'm getting better at using they in place of she um and every now and again I still use their birth name um, I have really pretty much gotten a hold of using the their name that they have chosen for the past five years, but now we have a new one that I'm gonna have to adjust to. And you know, my point, like my point of view is, if that makes them feel happy, if that, like at the end of the day, I just want them to be happy, and it's not worth fighting over any of that extra, you know, any of it. It's just not worth it. So of course, you know, if that's what they want to be called, then you know it's not any skin off my teeth um, oh that's one of those sayings I'm not sure where it comes from so I better I better re I better look into that before I keep using it so that's another thing that I've noticed is a lot of the sayings that we use come from places of darkness you know from our history and so you have to also be careful and mindful of the sayings you use so I'm also trying to kind of keep on top of that uh, Froggy's a cool name. There was a character's name in Daredevil. Really? I didn't know that. I wonder if they know that as well. But at least you're trying. A lot of parents don't even try like mine. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that your parents don't try. Um, I'm sure they appreciate your effort. Yeah, I... That's all, you know, that's all you can do. Like, of course, everybody's gonna make mistakes. We're human. We're not robots. We can't, like, all of a sudden, you know, put this input in and then that's what's gonna come out every single time. Um, but yeah, I try. It's at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. You know, it's not worth, it's not worth fighting over that type of stuff. Oh my God. Right. I started to notice that about sayings too. Yeah. That's the other thing is there's so many sayings that I keep stumbling over and I'm like, Oh, that, that kind of sounds like that's maybe not like I, you know, I have some history in the back of my brain somewhere. And so like, if something makes me kind of pause and go okay that might not be right so and I am also the kind of person who likes to look into things I like I Google is my best friend I Google you know a, a million times a day so I like learning I like finding out about stuff I like kind of investigating looking looking things up yeah so that is something as well um, when you're trying to be inclusive and respectful and you know, mindful of those type of things that, yeah, you, you have to look into, you have to really look into the culture, the sayings that we use, um, 
you know, that kind of, it, it can be a lot. It can be definitely overwhelming and I tackle it as I'm capable of it. Um, you know, I'm, I struggle with physical health. I struggle with mental health, uh, both in major ways. And sometimes I just don't have the energy. I don't have the, the spoons, as they say, to, um, delve into that kind of stuff. But when I do, I, f I feel like it's a really worthwhile effort to make. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Kind of heavy talk for Sunday. I'm okay with that. I'm not, I'm not the type of, I'm not the type of person who kind of sits on the, on the, on the surface and is shallow. I, I will dive as deep as you want to go. So, uh, thank you for doing that mental health command. That is a worldwide resource for you all to find, um, any mental health help that you need. Uh, thank you for that love. Uh, those are cute emotes, Bobble the Bee. Yeah. Um, so you all didn't tell me what your last photo was. Do you have your phone handy? Was your last photo on your phone? I think most of it's probably going to be. But if you actually used a camera, you know, let me know that too. I have a digital camera, but I think my phone is higher quality than probably that digital camera because it's pretty old like it's from when my children were very young so the last picture I took was of my cat perfect I love I love it I actually was realizing I don't take pictures of my animals much anymore my dogs normally are up hanging out upstairs with my daughter um, and the cats are kind of all over the house but whenever I want to take a picture of the cats they always like turn their head like I try and take a picture and um you have been visited by the bit fairy I'm just dropping off some random lucky bits good luck on your stream thank you sunshine I appreciate that um I didn't hear my alert I don't know if y'all heard it either but let me know if you did hear it but I didn't I didn't hear one um or if you saw it either my last photo was a pic of me after I did my makeup. Nice. Hello, Bloody Canary. Welcome on in. Happy Sunday to you. How are you doing? A selfie. Well, I mean, okay, it was a selfie. Don't. There's no judgment in that. But it's actually extra cool because you did this, like, pretty awesome makeup. So, um, Sophia, welcome in. It's great to see you as well. I'm making Day Artiste building, but I haven't uploaded to the gallery again. Tales of Right, welcome on in. Hello, it's great to see you all. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy Sunday to everyone. We are just answering our the question of the day is yeah, what's um what is the last photo? If the last photo is of chocolate cake, okay. Yeah, I am there for that. Nice. I haven't I need to make more cake. And take photos of it but just make more cake because you know if you make a cake then you get to eat it so yeah that is really nice of sunshine to to do that um i'm bummed that the alerts didn't go off i did hear when i did the spin the um the spin the wheel i did hear the the you know the ticker for that when we changed our blueberry blueberries now holding the art palette today um, so many friends in chat. I hope you're all doing well. Yes, yes. There are so many friends in chat. I love it. And mmm, chocolate cake. The last picture is of my nail polish collection, like of the bottles. Um, that's kind of cool. Are you like a really organized person or are they kind of just like, you know, if it were me, if it were me, I would have like a bag and they would all be thrown in it. I think my children have taken over any nail polish I used to have and I don't wear it anymore because I'm one of those people that it chips like immediately and then I'm just scraping it off because it has to either be perfect or not at all. Um, my last photo was of a person sunbathing in Jerdem de Paris. I apologize for any pronunciation, Sophia. I am not great at pronouncing non-English words. Yes, the bottle's all on my bed. Oh my gosh. Um, that's kind of fun though. Maybe kind of art. I'm envisioning it kind of artsy. What prompted you to take that picture? That's my, that's my question. What prompted you? Oh, cool. I love hearing about collections. Yeah. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> yeah. We're having a good laugh. We're having a good laugh here. Um, I'm feeling pretty good. 
not health wise. Health wise, I'm dizzy today, but um, mentally, I'm feeling pretty good. Not the whole bed, just the corner. No, yeah, yeah. Did I say something that you think is memorable? You can type add quote and then the text in chat for us to remember it forever. Okay, so your accent was almost perfect. <laughs> I, I highly doubt that, but thank you. Um, I, I give it my I give it a try. Uh, so my Streamlabs bot didn't I think say anything yesterday. I had set it up to try and you know see if I could get it to um, show you things in color like the you know the blue color which it looks like it is the blue green or whatever. Um, but then I didn't see any yesterday. So we're gonna see today if it it does the right thing. And you know I hadn't anticipated so many of y'all being here. I thought, you know, we would just kind of casually go um, do tour everybody's builds, but we might have to actually like set up a system of uh, of how we're going to draw these. Like I was I was not anticipating um, so many of you wanting to come and probably have builds to tour. I want to see everybody's, but I'm going to have to think about this now. Um, Sarah, how did you do it? When you had when you had tours that you were doing, how did you do that? Um, we could do like I don't know, like a giveaway maybe. I want it to be fair for everyone, you know. Um, I'm just not real sure how to go about doing that. Oh, I want that. Uh, pink t-shirt Sophia yeah actually let's let me see if I could show it to y'all um, that would be uh, my pet cam it's actually super cute nacho average girl <laughs> has little nachos all over it I, I love this shirt <laughs> what kind of builds are we touring today any so we're touring any of your builds anything you want it could be it could be it could be anything um, in The Sims 4. We're, we're touring in The Sims 4, of course. Uh, I set up a quick giveaway. Okay. That, yeah, we'll try it that way. I love that shirt. The way it was fair and randomized. Yeah, that's why I was thinking. Yeah, such a cool shirt. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, it was. it's actually a ch children's shirt, but it fits me. So um, the arms are a little short. But, you know, that's okay because I think women's um, cuts of shirts sometimes have this little shorter sleeve um so it doesn't really look weird um okay how are we gonna set this up giveaway okay so we're gonna do add giveaway custom because we're not giving any merch away um the name is tours uh advanced no subscriber bonus, no non-subscriber. Ticket costs zero. You can enter once. Must be a follower to win. No, I think you all are followers, but you know, if somebody shows up here and doesn't want to follow but wants me to tour their build, I'm okay with that. So let's try this. Um, advanced. Add. Um, add or not. Delete. Create a new one. I thought I did. Bear with me all while I try and figure this out. Tours. Name. Add. It won't let me add it. Set a prize. Oh. One tour. <laughs> okay. Uh, edit. It, where is giveaway settings? Um, the command is ticket. Okay. Start giveaway. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. So I'm going to open it up. You're going to type exclamation point 
ticket into the chat if you want me to tour one of your builds. Let's see. Let's see if this works. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. It says uh, one tour giveaway has started. Um, all right, Bobble the Bee, I see you. Bloody Canary, I see you. Kev, I see you. Tails. Um, all right, we're going to let it go for just a couple minutes. Probably get one tour in and then take a break um, at top of the hour, I think. I, I, I don't know if we'll get more than one in. Um, and I have to let my dogs out. My dogs need to have some lunch. When I finish the DRTs, day RTs, maybe you can tour my build too. Yeah, absolutely. Or if you have any other builds, Sophie, um, feel free to enter. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, it could be anything. It literally can be anything. All right. Uh, we're going to close out that ticket. If anybody else is hanging out here, they haven't entered yet for me to tour their build exclamation point ticket in the chat and we are going to draw a we're going to draw a name here in just a second all right looks like that's probably everyone so let me try and do this so y'all can see uh what's going on and we are going to pick the winner here you must close the giveaway or wait for the countdown before all right so Um, close entries, pick a winter. Kev, you are the winner. Congratulations. Let me know which lot of yours uh, you would like to tour. What world we're going in. And all that jazz. Uh, let's open our gallery. Connect. What is your gallery ID? So if you all have that information handy for me, um, what your gallery ID is, what world, what, what you know, what lot you want me to put it in, or if it doesn't matter at all, let me know that too. Oh, gallery. Oh, gallery. Oh, I was worried there for a second. Oasis Springs, uh, and what is the lot, uh, or the name of the belt? Right now I have it filtered to rooms. We want all. Okay, well, the gallery is working, but... Oh, yeah, these bar carts. I saw those on your stream. Those are super cute. Um, seems to be slow, though, but I'll take slow over not functioning any day. That's for sure. Pebble Barrow in Oasis Springs. Okay. Okay. We could do that. We could do that. Um, do the fudge residence in... Oh, is this your A-frame? Okay. Hey. Oh, my gosh. Can we get a shout-out for Kev? Um, this is for your build build challenge, right? You have a build challenge going, going on um, uh, to build an A-frame. It was really cool. I love the idea of this. So he basically created a family, and um, you have to build a home for that family based on, you know, their... Like, I think they have an, a pet and, you know, some some different um, talents that they have. So you have to build a home based on that. Uh, Pebble Barrow. Thank you for that shout out, Sarah. I appreciate that. <laughs> I walk away. Charts. <laughs> <laughs> There's a random clip that plays with those shout outs and you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> you never know what silliness you're going to get. Uh, that's a cool idea for a challenge. Yeah, I really liked the way that they did that. Okay, so it is, I don't know which one is Pebble. What did you say? Pebble Barrow.
This one, there we go. Empty lot to the right. Thank you. Pretty excited. Yeah, so if you all are looking for a challenge, if you have any interest in building an A-frame, um, please let us know when that is due. I can't remember. I think I do have it on my calendar. Maybe. I'm not going <laughs> to. I think I do have it on my calendar, but uh, May 1st. So there is time, plenty of time, a couple weeks yet. So this is w the challenge that, or what you did for that challenge. Um, do you, is there anything, uh, do you want me to ha have a sim on the lot or can we tour it uh, in build mode? Definitely let me know your preference of that as well. Let me know all the things. Um, because sometimes build mode totally cool. Sometimes like if you have a lot of like water effects or anything like that, um, it's better to tour in live mode just so we can kind of see those moving parts. Um, but it doesn't always necessarily uh, matter if you don't have that kind of thing going on. All right, so here is Kev's um, for his build challenge, the way he, and it wasn't like it wasn't a shell like it's just kind of build an a-frame for this family so it leaves a lot of um open it leaves you open to a lot of creativity with that and it's really cool how you did um the like it's an a-frame but it also has that sort of expansion off the side uh yep leave it open for building yeah i love that we have our little kind of parking area and some solar panels. Love that. I love the green-minded Sims. I mean, that's totally my thing. So um, I feel like it fits really well into the world as well. Oh, sorry about that, folks. Me, I'm. I'll. I'll pile. I, every time we do tours, I apologize. I'll apologize once, and hopefully not anymore. That um, I'm not the best driver in tab mode. Sweet little porch area. Nice little plantings. I like the windows, how they kind of have it be nice and open there. Oh my goodness, look at this, y'all. We have this, like, open roof over on the side. Glass roof. Some, maybe some southern exposure. It would be nice and, uh, <laughs> nice and toasty in there cute little kitchen with the island that you walk right into I love this yeah I did see him building it on stream so I have seen some of this um, just amazing I just love it it's so functional as well there is our you know kitty cat house the big one the big deluxe one they apparently love their cat more than I love my cat my cat does not have anything fancy like that here's our bar cart <laughs> I love this. So adorable. Move objects on, everyone, if you <laughs> if you're placing this lot. Uh oh nice. You furnished like inside the um the stove. That's that's cool. Um some coffee table clutter. I'm not the best at coffee table clutter, but you did a great job here. Nice. Nice little living area. So awesome, yeah, yeah. All right, what do we have next? Um, sorry, the the driving. Um, let's see what we have through here. Ooh, the master bedroom. I like those three overlapping like that. That looks nice. Low down, um, using those the high up cabinets down low for like a. A table area love it that wood on the wall for some texture a very smart looking bedroom <laughs> and we have our pet bed again these people love their pets definitely uh, and then we have another like little sun porch off the bedroom is that what this is whoop yeah just kind of like a covered out outdoor patio area. Nice. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. So do we go out now? I think I think we'll go up first. We're gonna go up first, and then we'll go out. Ooh, and I didn't 
I didn't see this. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Layered rugs. I love the layered rugs. I've really been getting into that myself. Um, definitely been getting into that look. Ooh, smart looking bathroom as well. What the? <laughs> I love it. I love it, Kev. This is great. Um, it looks like we have a shower, but then also a walkout. What? A walkout shower? That is so awesome. I've never seen anything like that in any builds before. Really fun. Maybe Sulani has some like outdoor showers, but never kind of the walkthrough, the double walkthrough. I love what you've done with that sink there. Is that functional? Um, I know there are tricks to get it to work. Um, so yeah, that looks really cute. Not functional. Okay. Uh, I am loving this too. Yeah, brilliant. I agree with I agree with all your hype and your loves, definitely. Um, so there is a trick that you can do to get it to be functional. Um, it, I'm sure you know it. Uh, so if somebody wanted to use this build and wanted it to be functional, you could either switch it out or um, if you draw a basement and then like if you brought those cabinets up from the basement, the, the game and the Sims think that the cabinets are on the basement floor. So they'll interact with the sink, um, in like, in, like normal, uh, and they won't basically pay any attention to the cabinets. So, so that's kind of a little builder's trick. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I explained that very well, but. Oh, look, a little like an, a little extra bedroom up here because they do have a child. I can't remember. I think it's like a couple, a child and a pet, a cat. Yeah, a cat. Um, and so they need their own little space up here. Definitely. You've really packed a lot into this like cute little home here. Ooh, and a bathtub. Nice with that shade. What is, is that? What did that come with? Um, is that a snowy escape? Oh, university. Okay. Okay. Gosh. I was just like, my brain was like grinding gears there. Just trying to think of the, the game pack that I was trying to think of the name of it. Um, Love it. I leave really. Yeah, this is awesome. And then we have, wow, look at this view, y'all. And there's so much more to explore outside down below, it looks like, too. But little patio area. Some yoga, yoga space for, ah, I love this. This is a, this is a great build. And then look at all these plants. Lovely. Utilizing that window. Love that. I love this, like that hanging plant type style. Love it, love it, love it. All right. And out to the backyard, which you can get through from that bedroom area as well. Love the mis mismatch chairs. That's, I love that look. Oh my gosh. We have a, oh my gosh. That's a very good place to put those plants. You can really see. Yeah, absolutely. All right. We have some nice. I did see greenery on the top of that, but it's not showing right now for some reason. Let's go back in. Yeah, see, there's the greenery. Oh, just maybe the, the angle it's at. So, yeah, we have this like above ground pool. That is so cool. I've never done a pool like that before. Nice. Platforms. I, I'm getting the hang of platforms finally. I was terrified of them for so long. A pool deck. Really beautiful. Wish I could live in a house like that. Yeah. Uh, this is wonderful. You're very talented. Yes. Oh my gosh. Very, very talented builder. Absolutely without a doubt. Um, yep. And so here's where you would go off of the, uh, the bedroom. Looks like. Yeah, nice. Okay. Sorry if I'm 
spinning around too much for y'all. Then we have a nice little gardening area. I, I need a garden in The Sims. Absolutely need to have a garden for all my Sims. <laughs> it's like one of the skills I always do. Um... Oh, yes, I love that pot. It's too bad that's not at all functional because I love the look of this little um, this little pot, potting table. Um, just some more indoor space here. Love it. Sorry, y'all. I know. I, my <laughs> drunk driving. Nice. All right. No, your driving is fine. Don't worry. All right. Okay. I feel like I'm all over the place. Take a kind of a larger view here. All the little details you've put in. We have the we do have a pea bush back there. Hopefully nobody uses that. The hose on the side of the um, the side of the potting shed there. Just want to make sure we see it from all angles. I should have gone around the outside first. Hopefully I remember to do that next time. It's just like perfect in this setting. There's a little fishing area back there. Look at this, y'all. The the glass, um, the glass in that. Uh, am I covering it up? No, I'm not. In the potting shed there. The glass on the side here. Love that trick. Like it's it feels really open. I mean, and that's true to life, right? Like if you if you put big windows in anything, it's definitely going to open everything up. Um, and let's take a look at the the night light too. I think that's where I saw you adding the night lighting um, that I always forget to add. see how lovely it looks yeah you went around and at that's exactly where I was in your stream as you were adding the outdoor night lighting beautiful had a lot of fun with this one nice yeah I have I have not built an a-frame yet um, in any of my builds and I've thought about it so I I think I'm gonna do the challenge um, I intend to do it we'll see I don't have too many I've just finished Sim Michelle's tiny home um, I want to do Ninster's um, challenge as well so there's a there's a handful of challenges that I want to do to say I sometimes forget the lights I see I always forget I always forget and so that's why I was like okay look at the different colors like the pattern you know the colors are kind of dispersed throughout I love that like you know we have a patch of red here a patch of red there like your eye kind of bounces around to the color very well done like that's something I do when I'm gardening in real life is kind of trying to be mindful of those of re kind of repeating those patterns so your eye can kind of consistently bounce around from one area to the other that that is just so dramatic that view all right can we get some love and hype in chat for kev and this lovely a-frame build again if you want to do a a-frame challenge he is running a challenge um so you could participate in that any love and hype emotes you want to spam now would be the time Awesome job. Thank you for letting us tour this amazing build. I really appreciate that, my friend. Um, of course. Of course. You're welcome. Of course. Love to see it. Love to see it. All right. I am going to take a break. It is top of the hour. That was just perfect timing. Um, take a quick break. I got to let my dogs out. Um, then my daughter will feed them, so I'll hop back on once I let them out. But... Uh, then we will get back to whoever's next. We're going to um, reopen that, uh, the giveaway, so you can, you know, if anybody new is uh, here, they can participate in joining in the possibility of doing
doing their tour next. Uh, applause to Kev. Absolutely, Sophia. Totally agree. Practice your self-care. Get, you know, I'm going to take a short break, so get yourself a uh, drink or snack if, if it's that time for you. Take your meds. I got to remember to do that, too. Um, definitely get up and stretch if you've been sitting for a while. And we will be back in just a handful of minutes. I have a new screen for you today, so I hope you all enjoy that. And I will see you back in a few.
and welcome back friends hope you enjoyed that little break Sarah <laughs> sorry on that loss there um, bobble the bee GG winning those bird seeds 200 bird seeds guess who ordered some Chinese for dinner Ooh. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Welcome back, Emily. Thank you so much, Sarah. Uh, I always want Chinese food. Um, we don't have a place that delivers here. Um, so I have to go pick it up. So it's one of those ones I have to be willing to like put pants on to go get. <laughs> and I love Chinese a lot, but... I also love not wearing pants. <laughs> so that's very often kind of a hard decision for me to make. <laughs> we have many, luckily. Get some chicken noodle soup. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, get Chinese. Yeah. I also hate wearing pants. Well, I, I think a lot of us do. I think a lot of us can relate to that statement. Um, definitely. Okay, let's How can I back? Um just looking into our giveaway here. It looks like it didn't remove Kev from that. Um So I'm going to have to Don't, <laughs> don't pay attention to what the bot is saying. I am um, trying to figure it out here. Close entries. Cancel. Yes. Got it. Okay. Thank you everyone for bearing with me. I've done, I've ran a giveaway before went without without a off without a hitch like you said like you saw earlier that one went fine but now doing a second one in a row um let's try it again start giveaway okay this time it should be live even though it didn't say it if you want me to tour <laughs> your build go ahead and type exclamation point ticket Let's see if it shows up. Awesome. Yes, uh, Bob the Bee, I see you. Tails, Bloody Canary, I definitely see you, y'all. Um, just going to leave that open for a few minutes. Uh, and then we're going to randomly pick. Again, to keep it fair, you know. We're going to keep it fair for everyone. All right, exclamation point ticket. If you're just joining us. And let's um, go on over to our second screen so y'all can see it. And we will close the entries and we will pick a winner uh, Bobble the Bee, you are the winner. Congrats. Let me know your gallery name um, to honor Chinese noodles, that emoji. Oh, cute. Yeah, I like it. Uh, yeah, let me know your, your Bobble the Bee. Okay. What the name of the build is and where you would like it. Uh, the build is green light construction, and I think I built it in Newcrest. I definitely want to move objects on if you don't already. Yeah, I have um, mods that uh, have it turned on. The only one that I don't have on all the time is the ignore gameplay one, but that shouldn't matter if we're doing 
um, displacing build. So green lake construction. One second, y'all. My daughter wants to know if she can do her laundry. So if you hear her, that's kind of what we do on Sundays. If, if you hang out here, sometimes you'll hear her like going, th going throughout the house. Um, yeah, it looks like maybe it was Newcrest, 40 by 30. This too. Oh, I'll have to look at that one on my other screen. Um, 40 by 30. Try it there. Gallery is a generic. Um, and then the other thing is, do you, is it okay if we do build mode or do you want to have a sim on the lot? That's the other thing I need to know. Build mode is fine. Okay, doke. Uh, this too. Ooh, that's a uh, pasta that the little like spaghetti and meatballs. I like that one. Um, oh, and the other one was a cup of noodles. I couldn't quite tell what it was, uh, on my overlay just because I have my game behind it, so it kind of skews things. All right, so this is the build from Bobble to Bee. Oh my gosh, I love that. So just to let you know, you all know, I do have my graphics on medium, um, because when I stream and I try and use high graphics in my game, they don't like to play nice. So I do have medium graphics on. So um, if you're noticing any kind of quality issues, that's why. So cool, yeah. Um, th this original build shell, uh, shell challenge. It was never able to be toured. Oh bummer! Well, we're touring it today. Thank you for, thank you for um, being here and letting us tour this. So we're gonna do the outside first. We're gonna just go all around. Um, definitely a lot of eco lifestyle inspired. I love that. Oh, I love eco lifestyle so much. Like, so, so much. The good, those shipping containers in back, love it. All right, so this was a generic, so I'm not sure if it's a house or a business or what, but we will find out when we go in. That backyard, like the backyard area, definitely there's a lot of stuff going on. I love what you did with the tracks and the cars, like the tracks and the dirt. That was really cool. Uh, will look good on my apocalypse save, yeah. Okay, so we have a little office area, kind of um, some, like, that run-down wallpaper. Like, this this building has been here for a while. For a while. Um, just a little waiting area. That rug has been here for a while. Nice. Oh, my goodness. A Taylor Bales. Thank you for that follow. Welcome on into the Blue Jay Band. How are you doing today, my friend? Thank you for redeeming that posture check, everyone. Great time to do a little posture check. I appreciate you redeeming that with your points. Everyone give a little posture check. Unless you happen to be standing. Even if you're standing, you could, you know, wobble your knees and make sure you're shifting your weight. Uh, all that is dirt. Is it CC? It came with the eco pack. Save your game. Thank you so much. Um... For redoing that save your game we are doing some tours today uh if you have a build that you would like me to be toured you can enter the next time for our uh, tour giveaway it's just terrain paint cool we have a statue here of maybe the founder we'll, we'll find out i don't know i like that in front of the window there very dramatic um I love the character in this build. Yeah, it has a lot. Like, it's a mood, right? It's definitely a mood. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I apologize, y'all. My, my driving is... It is what it is, as they say. All right, so in here we have um, some of the cleaning supplies that you'd need. 
Oop. Some of the stuff disappears. What was the last photo you took? Yeah, anybody just joining us. Um, the daily question is, what is the last photo you took? And mine is a screenshot of my oldest child um, wanting to be addressed as Froggy, Froggy Bean. I thought that was really cute. It's a really cute name, um, but I won't remember it. So I took a screenshot. <laughs> Uh, all right. Wow, I like the buildings in The Sims 4. Nice, yeah. All right, here we have a little cafeteria area, it looks like, with the um, roll-up door. Like that folding table. Such a mood in this. Addressed as Froggy. Yeah, yeah. Um, that their name is going to be Froggy now. It'll take some getting used to. Um it will. It will. I, like I was saying earlier, I had just gotten used to, uh, for the past five years, they had a, a gender neutral name that they had chosen. Um, and I had just gotten used to not using their birth name anymore. Um, accidentally, like I, I've just gotten in the habit of the new, the new name. And now I have a new name <laughs> I have to learn. So, um, Ooh, okay. I don't know if this was on purpose or not. This bare wall but that totally fits the build so so either way it looks awesome I miss that wallpaper froggy like Kermit the frog yeah I mean I think I don't know I'll have to ask them what where it came from if it has any special meaning or anything but um yeah I'm not sure we haven't had a discussion about it they just texted me just so you know this is what I'm going by now and I, I was like, I think I literally said, okay, but we will have to have a conversation about it just I, because I'm curious, not because like, we're going to have a conversation about this name. More like, I can't, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm curious. Ooh, here is the boss's office. Definitely a little fancier up here. Uh, fancier desk, fancy computer, fancy chair, snazzy bookcases, um, the wallpaper, Nice. I'm not sure what's going on there. Sorry, y'all. And we have the nice fish tank as well. Did I get everything? Oh, we have to go outside. Sorry. We have to go outside and see if there's anything in those shipping containers. Where am I? <laughs> I told you. My driving. Um, I think we have to go out this way. Or are they, is there anything in the shipping containers or are they just there for atmosphere? I love the feel of this build. Uh, there's stuff in there, okay. Um, like such a, I, I just love it. I don't even know how to describe it, but I really could see myself using this build in my game. Yeah, exactly. Let me look, let me spin around for y'all. Okay, so it looks like there's another restroom. And I'm not seeing a door specifically, so we will just kind of, we'll just kind of go in there. First, we'll go into this other restroom. There is a, a dumpster there for any time of your, <laughs> any dumpster activities you would like to do in this build. Um, if you are a streamer and you are a an affiliate or a partner, feel free to sh spam some of your emotes. Uh, that way we can support the community, support each other, see cute emotes. I like, I love seeing everybody's emotes. Um, if you click on them, you should be able to then see the person's name and go give them a follow, show our support in the community. So that's something I definitely like to, um, to, to have everybody do. If you are a streamer and you're working towards getting to affiliate, let us know that too, and we will definitely go and support you that way as well. The tracks coming from under the tires. I know, that was so cool. Okay, so just a little bathroom here. A couple of stalls, a sink, a mirror, a bobble of bee. Let me just double check that I am following
I am following you. Awesome. Thank you so much for doing that, everyone. Um, let's look at those. Yeah, see, this was like the first thing I noticed of the build. Look at these like tire tracks. So cool. I don't know if you can see them if I'm covering them up here, but yeah, super cool. Lots of cool details in this. So creative. Yeah. Okay. Let's go into our shipping containers and see what they're hiding. Very slowly we'll go into them. <laughs> I'll go in this one first. I don't see any doors. Maybe I'm just not looking right, but. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here we have our recycling. Um, and some generators. Very awesome. Just like a recycling center. Perfect. There's no doors. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing something. And then we have cool the electrical box. Of course, we would need one of those. I didn't put wallpaper inside these on purpose this time. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it really worked in the other setting, though. Um, this one has our uh, upgraded planters that are self-watering, so that's awesome. Blue, let's see what the blue has hidden. Oh my goodness, what? We have some, um, what are those called? Turbines? And the heat lamps. So what's the story behind this build? What were you, like, what was going through your mind? Did you have a little story that you were telling? Um, you know, like, this is a place of business and they sell these? Or are your sims just hanging out here? Or I'm just always curious behind the build. Like, what's the story behind the build? What's the inspiration? I love, I love learning about that kind of stuff. And then we have our red one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy buckets. Lots of bees in here. I would hate to be stuck in this shipping container. And then we have our bug houses as well. So yeah, to me, like to me, it seems like they're maybe manufacturing some of this stuff. That's kind of how I see it. But, um, but yeah, if you had a story in mind, let us know. Um, I need to use the eco stuff, like the stuff that makes the actual road eco more often. I love it. I use it in all my builds. Every single one of my builds, I use solar panels, wind, tu wind turbines, things like that. I wanted to make a construction company with a focus on green construction and sustainable living. Love it. Love it. Bees. Uh, bee bug cult room. <laughs> Bees. Bees. I've been watching a lot of Dr. Glue on lately, and he, you know, he has that bees song. If if any of you watch him, you know what I'm talking about. It's lovely. Can we all get some love and hype in chat for this build? Great job. Such a vibe. Such a mood. Love it. The unique, like, roof line. That's really well done, too. Um, yeah, and if any of you all want this in your build, it was uh, Bobble the Bee and the Green Lake Construction. Thank you so much for letting us tour your build. I really appreciate that. Thank you for all that love and hype, everyone. All right, let's see if we can do this a little more easily this time. Um, whoops. add. All right. Exclamation point. Ticket in chat if you would like me to tour one of your builds. Um, I don't know how many of you are all left at this point, but I definitely want everybody to get at least 
one tour and if we get through everyone then I will open it back up to everyone if you want me to do a second tour we could do that as well so so many talented simmers here absolutely um yeah this is one of my favorite things to do I if I I would do tours most of my streams if I could um, this is, I just love seeing everybody's creativity. Uh, it gives me an excuse to, uh, to like go on the gallery and look at new builds, um, that I don't always do. Sometimes I do, but like most of the time I just kind of look through the pictures and I won't actually place the lot, but you get a whole different, it's a whole different thing when you actually play, place down the lot and look at it in your game. So, um, Yeah, yeah, it's one of my very favorite things to do. So that's what we did for my birthday as well. I was like, you know what? We're not gonna we're not gonna build anything. We're not gonna do any gameplay. We're gonna tour some builds because that's my favorite thing to do. So exclamation point ticket! I think we have maybe just the three of you in there: D, Bloody Canary, and Tales of Bright right now. That's that's who we have. Anyone else? We are going to pick a winner. Exclamation point ticket. All right, let's go pick uh, pick a winner. Let's make sure that pulled up correctly. All right. Oh, I have to close it. Close. Pick a winner. Bloody Canary, you have a one. What is your gallery name? Just let me know that. And what is the name of the build and where would you like to put it? Bloody Canary it is. Bloody Lanary? Is it, did you, did you, t was that a typo or? I assume that's a typo. <laughs> Not Bloody Lanary, Bloody Canary. Okay. The house is called That 70s House. All right. Um, any particular world you would like me to put it in and build mode okay or would you rather have a family? That 70s house. Your most recent one. Oh, I forgot to like them all, y'all. I'll go back and do that. Let me just like this here. 40 by 30. Uh, Lurk D, no worries. Um, enjoy your shower. We will be here. Um, place lot furnished oh am I in a lot I don't want to don't know that I'm in the right one yeah so any world or any world in particular or doesn't matter I just just somewhere where there's grass don't remember where exactly okay well we could do it in that lot but let's do it over here Oh, my cat. Okay, my cat gets fed in an hour and a half. I don't know why she's... I don't know why she's so upset right now. <laughs> Just check the size, though. Yeah, I think it said 40 by 30, so... I think, I think. Oh, my gosh. My hair is... Goofy. My hair is goofy. Ooh, that looks cute. Looks cute from the road, as they say. Okay, so this is Bloody Canary's build. Bloody Canary on the gallery. Ooh, cool. Another person that has done the, um, that glass roof trick. And we're going to go around from the outside again. Take a look at it all. Wow, really cool. Love it. Uh, can't the cats eat by themselves when they're hungry? Mine does. We don't have a we don't have a feeder. Like I, I feed them three times a day. 
my male, we used to have a feeder that they could just kind of eat from. Uh, but I have a male cat who gets um, urinary tract infections. And so he has to be on special food. And so she can't eat it because it's really expensive. And so it's this whole thing. It's this whole thing, you know. Um, so, yeah. Nice little outdoor area. Just wanted to get the overall look from the outside. Another little patio area. Cool. All right, let's go in from the beginning. These builds are going to make me buy dang Journey Bow 2 back so I can use them. Mm -hmm. Bobble the Bee. I don't know if you saw yesterday, but we were ranking the packs uh, based as a builder and based as a as gameplay. And um, Batu is top of my list for building. Top. Top, top, top. So, I love this little entry area. And we have this little, like, tuck under for when they ever give us cars, right? So, is this based on something in specific? Or, like, is it just, you know, a 70s, 70s feel house? That, too, is the best. Mm-hmm. Retro Lark knows what it's about. <laughs> nice little patio. Is this the first I'm seeing of you, Retro Lark? Welcome in, Retro Lark. I don't think I said hi to you before. Can we get a shout out for Retro Lark? Also a very talented streamer and builder. All right. This looks like the front door. Love this door. It's like a classic 70s. Um, oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> wow. Wow, y'all. This is a look for sure. I'm not sure where to go exactly, but uh, I'm sure going to download since it's 70 inspired. I was lurking, uh, modding for a huggable at the same time. Thanks for the shout out. No, no problem. Oh, the stairs are gone. Oh, maybe it's here. Let me go back in and go out. Yeah, I didn't seem to regenerate them. Um, I could try and place it again. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. We'll just place it one more time. Um, it's supposed to be where the wooden column is. Okay. It kind of looks like the Brady Bunch house. Kind of. I mean, it's the same era, right? Oh, where the wooden column is. So right here would be stairs. Yeah. I I don't... Th I'm wondering if the gallery is showing it or not. That's upstairs. Oh. Okay. Sorry about that. That's frustrating. It might be missing from the file I uploaded because I had some trouble with them. Oh no. That's a bummer. Well, we can imagine stairs there. Alright, so we have this little like coat nook. Oh man, this is just too perfect. Like you have nailed the 70s aesthetic. Absolutely. That wallpaper, this furniture. Wow. I've heard sometimes objects go missing from like they do sometimes, yeah. Um, oh, this nice like custom buffet. Those chairs are perfect for this feel. Um, I'm not sure what's going on here. We will look at it from the top as well. Here's our kitchen area. The gallery do be rude, and noms so of yes. It definitely 
gallery is not always kind. Okay, I see the, the window. Okay, this is totally perfect for a 70s house, that like pass through. Oh, the colors. This is perfect. Love it. I mean, I don't love it, but I love it. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Love the chairs. I use them on the Brady Bunch house too. Oh, nice, Sophia. Perfect. Perfect. So Sophia's gonna use this house. Definitely has a love of kind of the... Sophia has a love of the classic era stuff. Okay, the TV works here too. You all are you all are just blowing me away with your builds. So creative. The orange and the green, the avocado green classic. So I think maybe we'll go we'll again try and do tour the outside and then we'll go or the inside and then we'll go do the the grounds. I love this. Amazing. Me too. Yeah. Okay. So here we have. Ooh. <laughs> when I cringe, please know I'm cringing in the best way. Um, oh, <laughs> classic bathroom. Classic bathroom. Orange. Yes. The bathroom looks like a sensory overload. I mean, that in the best way. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. We have... Um, so we'll start here. Oh, dear. I'm zoomed in way too much. Looks like probably a bedroom with the bunk beds. Nice. Uh, we have our scouting board, our violin. So, yep children's bedroom with some desk area nice nice uh, light coming in with those doors and windows there it was the same for me while building you're like okay this is this is this is awesome but awful yes classic oh dear the browns the browns and the red and the yellow I act this is kind of a cozy little room but yep you've Oof. Oof, y'all. Again, that door and the window letting the light in. So even though you have this like really busy wallpaper going up, going on, it like there's a breath. Like you could take a breath and look out the window. <laughs> I love the little clutter too. Like <laughs> definitely fits the build. Ooh, the flower power. I don't even think I've seen the swatch of that bed either. Master bedroom again with some of those windows opening it up. Ooh, nice. And then we have, it looks like maybe a second bath off of the, like the master bedroom and bath. Ooh, more of that brown, tan, just not. Oh, and we have a fan. <laughs> <laughs> fancy uh, hot tub um, in my area we would have definitely had a sauna but I know a lot of homes actually had hot tubs too like this up on the platform oh my gosh is that carpet is that carpet because I've seen that as well with carpet like too perfect oh my gosh I have seen that. That is like the worst idea, right? Who puts carpet in their bathroom or the kitchen, right? Oh, man. Perfect. So perfect. This build is so cringy, but so freaking awesome. Like cringy in the best way, I mean. I'm, I'm not insulting it, it by any means. Okay, so the stairs are going to be up here. So we're all going to have to just imagine... I have carpet in my bathroom. I hate it. Like, why? How richy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So here is where the stairs would come out. Um, 
Ooh, nice little like gaming hangout nook. I I love this. This is just this is just wonderful. Great job. And then we have another little area over here. Looks like crafting room. Ooh, bright nice bright lights opens up nice. Like it. Somebody has used, I have not used the nifty knitting crafting tables like this. It looks great here. Looks really great. I think I used it in a store once. I want to love them. I just don't use them that often. So perfect to love a little craft room. Ooh, a nice little bedroom. There's actually a decent amount of beds in this house. I didn't even look to see how if you said how many there were. Oh man, those emotes. I love those emotes. Those little... It's either a Frenchie or a Boston Terrier like what I have. So, uh, This one is a guest room in my mind. Yeah, that works too. So we have a little bathroom off you know, the top of the stairs here. Again, that tan. Lovely tan color. And then we have just a little kind of storage area, looks like. Having this, I have this item in all my builds because I use it all the time. All the time. Like I usually put it in a garage or, you know, the attic or something. Nice. All right. Did I get everything up here? I think so. I think so. So we'll go back down. Me too, they're cute, yeah. Um, down. Do they have like six kids like the Brady's? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, oh, there's a room downstairs also. Did I miss one? I'm sorry if I did. Um, where? Where is the room downstairs? Maybe I will cheat. The glass door outside near the front door. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Cool. I have like a little woodworking area the broom nice just a storage room again gotta have that skilling area look at all this clutter we have kind of hard to tour in this mode but I love it I love all these storage type things that I use those all the time for like if it's like an apocalypse build or just throw in a garage or whatever all right, and now we have our, so you can kind of, that's kind of like a walkthrough. You can get through either way. I like that. That's real smart design, actually. Some lovely flowers over on the side of the house. I can't wait. It's finally getting warm enough that I can, like, start and go dig in my garden. Not that I'm going to do much, because I don't do much anymore, but... At least I can. At least it's not winter and icy and snowy and everything. Cute little mound of plants over here. I like the different textures. Very well, very well mixed. I like that. Ooh, got this little area. It's a covered porch area. The nice big shade tree. <laughs> that tub with the plants always makes me laugh. Oh, lucky to dig in your garden. Yeah, yeah. I have a pretty small yard. Well, for the city, I have a big yard. From what I grew up with, it's a small yard. So I guess it depends on your perspective. But Ooh, look at this nice big area. Nice family table here. Family sized table with a grilling area. Some lounge area. I love all the, the textures you have. Again, 
the vibe of this whole build. It's just awesome. Let's take one more look. Um, see if we have any, see how the lighting looks outside. Yeah, we do have some nice out exterior lighting. Ooh, that front, that front area looks so smart with the highlights, the, you know, the highlights and the plants and such. That 70s house. Can we get some love and hype, y'all? I think I got everything. I think I got everything. Ooh, look at, we did, I didn't see those when we were touring it, but we have some beams in there. Love it. Really cool house. Really cool house. Love this build. Yes. Love and hype. Absolutely. Called That 70s House by Bloody Canary. Thank you so much for letting us tour that. Um, what? So if you all want that in your game, it is on the gallery. Before we dive into another one, I know it's just a few minutes early, but it is almost top of the hour. So I am going to take another break. I got to pee. Um, and then we're going to uh, tour the next one. So thank you for touring it. My pleasure. Thank you for being here and thank you for building such an awesome build letting it and sharing it with us. I really appreciate that. Applause for Bloody Canary. Sorry I was getting some dinner. No worries, Tail. No need to apologize. Very pog. Yes. Um, all right. Again, we're going to take a, a quick break. Still not time for my cats. They're not happy about that. Then we'll get into the next tour. Um, so a super short one. I'm, I'm just going to run to the bathroom. I'm going to remind you about your self-care as well. Get up and stretch if you haven't recently. Um, get yourself a drink or a snack. Now would be the perfect time. Um, yeah. All right, folks. I will be right back.
And welcome back, y'all. I hope you enjoyed that nice short break. Did the things you need to do or just hung out. Hanging out is nice sometimes, too. Definitely nice to just not move. I don't know if I, <laughs> any of you ever feel like that. I'm pretty sure you do. Sometimes it's just nice to not move. All right. Let's get our next one going. Thank you, Sarah, for posting all of those commands. I really appreciate that. Definitely, let's get some love for Sarah. Sarah is our mod here. She's also a streamer. If you're not following her already, I don't know what you're doing. She is awesome. Um, awesome person, super creative super supportive of this community definitely go show her some love follow her give her a follow if you haven't already uh, okay I think I opened it up again so if you would like to me to tour one of your builds, type exclamation point ticket to be entered. We're going to get going on the next one. Um, yeah, and then if once we've gone through everybody, uh, if you want me to tour a second one, then we will open it up at that time um, to everybody. To, to enter a second time so all right so far we have tails tails um, has entered if anybody else wants me to tour otherwise we can just do Sophia I don't have any on the gallery next time I will upload some bills no worries Sophia thank you so much for hanging out and and doing these tours with us anyway we I really appreciate you your time is your most valuable asset and the fact that you all are here supporting the community, supporting these builds, you know, um, for everyone, uh, really means a lot to me. Uh, Jackson66700, thanks so much for that follow. Welcome on in to the Blue Jay Band. How are you doing today? We are doing tours in The Sims 4. If you have done any builds uh, from the community, you can type exclamation point ticket to enter um, if you want me to tour one of your builds. And yeah, yeah, thank you all for, for hanging out here and doing, you know, enjoying these tours. This is like one of my favorite things to do. So um, I'm glad that you're, you're all here and um, supporting the community and doing that. So, all right, it looks like Tails. It looks like you're the only one who hasn't gone yet who has entered. So I'm not going to even say pick the pick a winner because we know that you're the winner so um oh my goodness a huggable with the raid oh my goodness welcome on in raiders how you doing everybody who's here from my community let's defend our bird seed we don't want them to get our bird seed exclamation point defend a huggable can we get a shout out for a huggable um Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Total Alana, uh, for that follow. Welcome on into the Blue Jay Band. How are you doing today? Um, a huggable, what did you get up today? What were you doing in your stream? Thank you again so much for that raid. I appreciate that. All right. Welcome, raiders. We're doing tours today. My name is Emily. I'm primarily a builder. We do a lot of gameplay on this channel, too. Um, Though I'm primarily builder, I, you know, I, I do both, I guess. I mean, I got to say that. I got to do both. So, um, yeah, let's, let's get our confetti off. Let's get our confetti off. What were you up to, a huggable? We are, currently we have a raffle going if you were touring builds, um, and I finished Kev's build and started gameplay challenge. Yeah, we, Kev was here. We actually toured his A-frame build. So it looks like a Huggable is doing that challenge as well. Um, nice. And what gameplay? What gameplay are you doing? Working on a fixer upper challenge. 
Oh, nice. Sounds like fun. Um, so yeah, we are doing tours from the community. Right now, the raffle is open. Um, exclamation point ticket if you want me to tour one of your builds. Uh, that way you can be entered. Right now, we only have one entry. Um, and then... Uh, and then we can, everybody can go a second time if we, once we get through everybody. So we want to, we want to be sure to give everybody a chance first and then, um, and then we can go again if you want. So yeah, uh, I've been thinking about doing Kev's, the A-frame challenge as well. And, um, I haven't started it yet, but, but that's super cool. Let's see here. She, her. Did we have a pronouns and I missed it? Yeah, feel free, everyone, to type your pronouns in chat. Um, that way I can be sure that I am addressing you properly. I appreciate that. Um, Sarah? A bobble bee. He, they. Thank you. Thank you for... I'm going to actually... I can enter. I'm just making a household for you to do it. That works too. Yeah, she, her. Thank you so much, uh, D, for letting us know your pronouns. I appreciate you all letting us know. Um, absolutely. If you all have households that you want me to tour, like, you know, Cass, we can do that as well. It doesn't have to be a build. Um, I am absolutely happy to tour any families you have as well. So if you you can enter even for that. So thank you for bringing that up. I should have specified that. It doesn't have to be a build. Um, yeah. All right, so we are going to, it sounds like everybody who already went, so we're gonna go with Tails. We're gonna close this. Um, and Tails, you are the winner <laughs> of this particular one. Let me know your gallery ID and, and then we can, um, Then we can get your build placed. Gallery ID, what the name of it is, where you want it, it what world, all that fun stuff. I have to leave in 15 minutes, but I'll put in a ticket after. Okay, no worries. Uh, always Potter, build Salvador Manor or Sea Farm, your choice. Well, there's a chance that we might get to do both. So um, we'll see. Let's do. He, they means you have two genders. Um, you know, I'm not going to speak for them. I'm going to let them explain that if they choose to. Um, sometimes. Uh, uh, one second. Um, Complete. Okay. Um, yes, I, it dep it depends on the individual. So, um, like, sometimes they prefer they. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Um, It's that they use both, right? Like, uh, I'm transmasculine, non-binary, so I don't mind being seen as either a man or an I'm Yes, exactly. So, so both. Yeah, that's the, uh, rather than he, him, they would use he, the masculine pronouns, or, and, or, they. Thank you for explaining that. I, I didn't want to put you on the spot necessarily, but I also, I don't ever want to speak for someone. So that, I was kind of like finding myself like, it depends on the person and, um, all right. Ah, both I understand. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I just, you know, I don't, I don't necessarily want to put every, anybody on the spot, so. Um, where is it? Salvador Manor. Let's just make sure. A huggable, enjoy that lurk. Thank you so much for lurking. Um. There are some great articles online on pronouns and gender identity. Yeah, that's what I was 
trying to see if I could quickly find a lake for that. Um, but I didn't. I didn't in the f in that few minutes. Um, but Sophia, I, I th if you're part of the Discord, I do think I have a link there that explains um, explains it. Sorry, that was not my intention to put you on the spot. No worries. Yeah, no. I mean, it's a valid question. Um, Salvador House is what is what you mean. Or is there a Salvador Manor too? Because I've ha I found the Salvador house here. No, that's correct. Okay. Ooh, this one looks really moody. Okay, so it looks like is it in the vampires world? Yeah, looks like it. So forty by thirty. That's where Vlad's house is. Mm -hmm. And is build mode okay or would you rather have a sim on the lot? That's the other thing I need to know. Build mode is fab. Okay. Okay, okay. Oh, wow, cool. Quite the entrance. I love how you, like, the the driveway that you did, like, just flows right into the off lot. Like, right here, it just real, it flows really naturally. That's really cool. I love it already, right? Oop, sorry. You know, me and my driving. It's a very grand entrance. Dramatic. Oops, let's go around. I want to go around. I keep forgetting that. Let's go around and look at... Get rid of our grid. Just take a look all around. Ooh, interesting. Me too. I love it. I love the front entrance, yeah. I love it so much. All of these builds are so different, but they're all flippin' awesome. You all are just so creative. Is it's based on a show? I don't know. Yeah, it's the Vampire Diaries house. Oh, cool. I have not watched that. I don't think. The thing about me and my memory is I could watch stuff and I forget. So then I could watch it again and it's like new. It's a good thing and a bad thing. Oh, wow. What? so dramatic um there i was like i think something is not showing correctly nice little entryway is that a train cool you never fail to impress tales i agree with sarah absolutely it's a stair it looks like stairs there so we'll go oh my gosh what, what, can we go down here? Yeah, okay, that is stairs. Nice sunken in the living room. Oh my gosh, y'all, look at this. Wow. I love how you like set that in, like set it in the fireplace back. That's really, that's really cool.
We have a dining room here. I don't know where to go first. Oh my gosh. I'm going to get lost, y'all. I apologize. I can tell you already I'm going to get lost. Look at this little, like, it's so moody. You all have been, like, your builds have been like such a mood. Like each one has its own individual mood. It's like, wow. Oop, that's outside. Don't want to go outside yet. <laughs> All these fireplaces tucked in here and there. I know that roof's not supposed to be there, but. library area this is so grand yeah yeah let's see can i make that there we go i was like can we make that go away it's just distracting another little like enclosed this is so cool i have not seen anything like this like a little bit sunken down area with this like the wood you know dowels the wood trim I love it. We pretend we do not see weird clipping roof. Yeah, yeah. We we don't see it. It's it's not a thing. So cool. If you do go down further, there's a basement. Okay. Um. So here's the basement. I assume is what you're talking about. Okay. And then this is outside, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Creepy basement. Yeah, so do we want to go? Yeah, we'll, we'll do the basement. And I don't know if I can go down. Down, down, down. Without, yeah, I think I have to go into... The basement. Oh, well... It's a good thing math is not here right now because he would be scared. The chains, there's chains and like soggy newspaper in the basement. Uh oh. <laughs> and the and a bar. That looks really cool there though. And the prison like door. I don't know what I don't know about this. Coffin. Oof. What a mood. And your dragon friend. That's really cute. Cute. Um, you know, cute in a dungeon kind of way. I realize this seems so creepy when you've not seen the show. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's a vampire show, right? Right? Vampire Diaries, probably about vampires, so... Yeah, maybe there's things that you're kind of referencing that I don't I don't know about, but That's okay. Vampires vampires are creepy. I mean, they can be anyway. As long as they're like not sparkly vampires. Though the, the that's creepy in its own way too. It's actually about clowns, right? actually about clowns. Okay, did we get everything? Oh, that's a cute emote. The laughing. Oh, and then there's just another little like library nook here with the sparkling floor because, you know, dust the bus. Bust the dust. The red is so dramatic. Oh my heavens. Okay. What do we got here? We So we can go upstairs there, but right now we have the kitchen. Holy, holy moly. This is um, a huge kitchen. That's the bus. Yeah, you know, dusty bus. 
<laughs> Duff's the best. <laughs> I know you're not making fun of me because I, yeah. <laughs> you know, brain, mouth don't always connect. Excuse me. I hope I didn't make y'all yawn with that. No, not making fun of you. <laughs> this kitchen is so extravagant. And I love that little like table off to the side. That's really handy actually. Like something you'd actually see. Okay, so this is to the outdoor kind of trash area off the kitchen. Or like, what do they call it? Porch, maybe. Kind of a porch area. I'll have to like, check out the Vampire Diaries now and see if I can recognize the house. So did you use it, like, did you build it from the show? Or did you have a floor plan? Or did you use pictures? I'm always so curious when people recreate things, like how, how do they go about doing it? Oh gosh, looks like there's a handful of rooms up here too. Okay, so we'll go to this one first. Oh my goodness. Would be cool to see this house in The Sims first person view. That's a good, that's a good idea. Floor plan mixed with show plus Googled the outside of the house. Wow. Very extensive research. I like the candles up there. I usually like to create exact replicas. Yes, we know, about, we, I know that. Sophia actually reached out to me about creating a TV show house. Um, and it's hard to find any documentation on it. Like I, I did a lot of Googling to see if I could find um, floor plans or, you know, pictures other than sort of just some screenshots from the TV show Dynasty. Um, and it's, I haven't even tried building it because I don't, I can't wrap my mind around the whole bill, like the whole, the whole room. You just can't see it all unless I maybe watch the show. Um, and I don't even know where I could watch the show, so. I love the idea of creating exact replicas as well. Ooh, cool. Wow, your memory is great after all. Kidding. <laughs> no, it's... There's certain things I remember. Certain things I don't remember. Like, I know you and I had discussed a second build, and we even talked about it on stream one time, and I forgot what it was, though. So it's like... I... Yeah, my memory is just hit or miss. today, And that's the other thing, is right now I remember it, but ask me again another day, and I might not remember it, so... Ooh, wow. Look at this one y'all this is definitely the map I thought the other one might have been the master bedroom but this one definitely looks like it. don't mind those posts it's just because of the way I have the rooms set this huge bathroom oh this is so cool I want this bathroom it was hard to do the exact here because the floor plan on the show doesn't actually fit the outside of the house yeah that's super common actually uh, I have a new project to recreate the Men of Letters bunker from Supernatural, and this is going to be something. There isn't a full layout of the bunker for one. Uh, D, welcome on back. I know other people have done it, but I'm not looking at it now. Otherwise, it will never start. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I know there's, like, I would love to do the Home Alone house, but so many people have done it. Um... Actually, my brother just, um, 
he was on vacation and he sent me a picture of the home alone house. One of the things on his vacation that he wanted to do with his kids was they drove by the actual home alone house. Speaking of home alone. Um, but I w that was one of my favorite movies as a youngster. And um, I would love to recreate it. But so many people have done it. And I don't know if there's an actual like floor plan out there of it. Sweet. I loved Home Alone. Yeah. This bedroom is stunning. Okay. What? Oh, it's a mirror. I thought it was an opening for a second. I love those old time TVs. Um, Home Alone is such a good collection of films. Yeah. Oh, and then we have, <laughs> we have a little balcony. Overlooking the graveyard here. Which I'm assuming works with the, the you know, the movie and everything. Cute little setup here. Having some drinks, having some romantic flowers, I guess. Um Okay. Is that everything? Is this Damon's room? Ooh, somebody knows. Oh, wow. Look at this bathroom, y'all. So fancy. And the shower? What? I love what you've done with these. Like, the showers are so unique. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to use that idea of having these, like, different type of doors. Love it. Okay. Did I miss anything now? That's the that's the one we just came out of. Yes. And there's this one. I don't think we did. Ooh. Again, it's so extravagant. Like this is and all the reds. I, lo I love red. Red is like, in decor, is one of my favorite colors to use. And you don't even notice that there's bats on the walls. Okay. I think we did this one. Yes. Okay. Math would have fainted by now seeing this house. I know. <laughs> Definitely would have been scared all over the place. Uh, I wanted to make it practical for people to actually use, uh, to use an actual gameplay, so I needed a good amount of rooms. Yeah. I mean, good thinking. Let me know if I missed anything. I think I got it. Uh, my cat is skulking because I saw her jump on top of the precarious pile of boxes and slowly slide and I laughed at her. <laughs> Cats, you know, that's why we have animals, right? Because they're entertaining. I mean, I think you got everything. Okay. My, my pets are like the biggest entertainment for me. I'm not going to lie. It's stunning. I love it. It is so dramatic. So like a perfect vampire home. Just want to take a look at the little outdoor space here. I know we saw it at first doing the kind of flyby I did at the beginning. Nice little garden area. Covered. I think that counts. I don't know. I don't remember if that counts as keeping it sheltered then. I think it does. Love the pathway we've done with the um, terrain. Like the faint rocks. But also, you know, there's some... I like that. I like what you did. Kind of doing different layers there. Well job indeed. 
Ooh, I, m I missed this. Yeah, can we get some hype and love for this? Awesome build, Tails. Such an amazing build. All of the builds have been amazing. Yeah, absolutely. Cute little area there. Love it. Okay, so again, this is called the Salvatore House um, on the gallery under Always Potter uh, is where you would find it. Whoop, hype, 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 hype. Give some hype as well. I have to get, I have to get it so my bot can use my emotes too, which I know some of y'all have, but with mine, it doesn't seem to work. So, all right. Is there anyone else who hasn't gone yet? Can I get an O slash for if you haven't gone yet and you would like to go? I don't know if, I can't remember if we've been through everybody or not. D, all right, what is your gallery name? And you're next then, because I think you're the only one who hasn't, who would like to go, who hasn't gone yet. You can either go through my most recent household wall, uh, but it says include CC, but it doesn't, or you can tour anything else. My gallery ID is, do we need to enter something for a tour? Um, no, we were doing a uh, retro lark. If you would like me to do a tour, uh, there was just one or two people left. And so I didn't bother to do the giveaway. But if you want me to tour one of yours, let me know. Um, D has a family that we were going to tour. So retro lark, if you want to, if you have a build that you would like me to tour, then, then let me know as well. And then maybe we would open up for a second time. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. D. Deli. Oops. Up to you. Good either way. Uh, recent household wall. But you would have to do include CC to do the household. Okay. Um, does it have CC or was it just flagged? I mean, I thought you said you wanted to. Is that your preference for me to tour a household of yours or it doesn't have CC? Okay. Then we'll, f we'll figure it out here. Well, all right. Let's add them to my library. Uh, I cannot build it all. No worries. Yeah, I'm absolutely. If we're doing tours, like I said, if you're doing tours and you're a cast, like that's you don't do any builds, you do cast. I'm totally okay with that. Um, touring your creations is what I I really should say. Uh, let's see. We're gonna have to go to here. Enter into this, and then. Oopie. Place, replace. All right, so this is D's family. This is Carly Wall. Um, my overlay is kind of getting in the way. She is a painter extraordinaire, cheerful, child of the ocean, and child of the islands. Ooh, nice. Um, And Mia is her daughter. All right. So, ooh, several outfits. So it looks like, is she, I mean, with being a child of the ocean, child of the islands, that this is maybe a Sulani family. Kind of the way she's dressed. She's so pretty. She is. 
few outfits uh, for every day. And then this is her formal wear. Love that color on her. It looks great. This is her athletic. I don't use that shirt often, but she is rocking it. Like, she makes it work. This is her sleep outfit. That's basically what I sleep in, y'all. Here's her party outfit. Nice. That looks really good on her. Uh, oh, really? Then you can tour my Sims of Shirley MacLaine and her daughter so Sachi and the housekeepers. Yeah, absolutely, Sophia. We absolutely can do that. Uh, I don't have them on the gallery. Can you get them on the gallery in the next handful of minutes? Um, she and her daughter do live in Sulani, but her daughter wants to move to Del Sol Valley and become a music producer. Cool. I love that backstory. Here's her swim outfit. This is her hot weather. Definitely, a, a, you know, a beach vibe. We've got a beach vibe going with these Sims. Very pretty. Yes, she is. I love the, the outfits. They definitely make, like, her personality fits. Limmer, welcome on in. How are you doing today? And yes, I love, I love when we see, you know, like, when the cold weather is, you know, kind of just a sweater and some boots and not, like, my cold weather that's, like, hats and scarves and mittens and five layers of, and snow pants and, yeah. I like when kind of just a nice sweater can be can be the winter look and this is her daughter daughter Mia um, who is a musical genius and wants to come and become a musical uh, producer music producer creative and a loner so she's a teenager um, she I love her she's great also I love Carly's white sweater yes exactly A couple of um, everyday outfits. Ooh, that the back of that is really cute. I don't know if you can all see because my caption is, but I have this uh, mod installed for the mirror because so often something will have a cute back and I don't know it. So I was like, okay, I have to have that mirror mod um, installed. Ooh, that's cute dress on her. And her, oh, with the heart elbows, that's a, another example of, um, if I didn't have that mirror, I wouldn't have noticed those heart elbows. For her um, sportswear, her athletic, here is her sleep party. She's super cute. I love her style. swimsuit <laughs> oh nice hot weather that is so beachy looking to me oh I can't wait to go to the water get when it gets warm enough here and then her hot or her cold weather outfit nice again the kind of cold weather where you can have some bare legs <laughs> math Thank you for redeeming Save Your Game. I appreciate that, my friend. Welcome on in. You missed a kind of a scary house. We were all thinking of you. It's a great to see you. Uh, we are doing tours today. If you have a tour um, or a family that you would like me to tour, either a build or a family, um, that is what we are doing today. Bloody Canary, I like that it's still beachy, but we can still feel that she has city vibe as well. Absolutely, yes. Uh, I missed a scary build. You did. Well, I mean, I didn't find it scary, but chat was pretty much in agreement that you <laughs> would have found it scary. Um, it was a great build, though.
All right, so let, um, can we thank, uh, D, oh my gosh, my brain was, my brain just l full stop, um, for showing us their f uh, this family, lovely family. You can get it on the gallery uh, under D, Delhi. I'm not sure how to say it, but here, here you, you all could see it, and it is the Wall family. Oh man, we forgot the pop. We forgot the pop. Cute. What a cute little Akaya. Um, sleuth, friendly, and independent. This is a, an adorable pup. And we have <laughs> a shark outfit. Too cute. Uh, you could always watch the replay. Yes. Yes. I feel sad, Math. Yeah, you could always watch the VOD. Uh, this, I love this dog. I'm definitely going to use this family. There, this is a great little family. Um, okay. So for anybody who hasn't gone yet... Can you give me an O slash, raising your hand, to let me know if you still would like to go? That's if you haven't gone yet. Just so I could get a sense of how many people um, we still have to tour either a build or a, a family. Um, of course we care. Of course we care, math. So is there anyone else who hasn't had a tour of a build or family that would like to. Please let me know. I have a build on the go. We'll be finished 20, 30 minutes or so. Okay. So that's math in, a, in like half an hour. Um, anybody else who hasn't gone? Or, uh, Sophia, did you have a family? Oh, you said they weren't on the gallery. Right, 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 right. Um, who made the scary build? Um, forgot how. It was the Salvador house. Who went last? This is exactly where my memory is awful. If you made this house... <laughs> <laughs> Remind me who you were. Was that Bloody Canary? Um, Tales of Right, yes. Okay, Tales of Right, but the um, the gallery ID was something else. Always Potter. Always Potter is the gallery ID. Uh, you need to have the CC that I use on them or they will look completely different without C. That's fair. Yeah, CC really does change the look of a sim completely. I have a bunch of it too if you are looking for something, but honestly don't feel obligated. Yeah, you haven't gone yet. Absolutely. We we will tour one of your builds. I, th I think Math is the only one left. And he said his build isn't ready yet. So Retrolark, yeah, let's let's do it. And we can convince everybody that we need they need to buy a Batu, right? Um so is your gallery ID Retrolark? Come to the cult. I don't want to have to buy but two. Yes, it's the same. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <sighs> Bobble the Bee, I, I hate to break it to you, but if you're a builder, you definitely should consider it, in my opinion. I don't want to, I don't want to shit on anybody, but um, it's a really great pack for builders. Maybe not as much if you're only building like suburban homes. Although there is some items. There's a handful of items that I would use in suburban homes too. But um, I don't like Star Wars. It's not about that. Like for me as a builder, I don't like Star Wars. The gameplay, the gameplay was awful in my opinion. Um, but I use the pack every single build now. Now that we have it, I use it in every single build. So 
I'm not trying to like twist your arm. If you don't want it, don't feel like you have to buy it. But I think a lot of builders feel the same way. Um, so retro lark, which one would you like us to tour? Mission style or Batu, mission style to Batu or Batu base home are really good for suburban home. Um, my cat. Twenty minutes, cat. So this one uh, looks like probably Oasis Springs, forty by thirty. They're both shell challenge, shell challenges. I did. Okay, so 40 by 30 in Oasis Springs. Is build mode okay or do you want to have a sim in there? And I think it was Johnny Zest a lot. Well, I don't know. Build mode is okay. Which one is Johnny Zest a lot? This one. Okay. Let's go in here. The one in the corner. Preparing seances. And then we will do money. And. Oops. And this one. Furnished. Oh, my cats. Okay. Let's make sure we're up all the way. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Get ready for some Batu magic. Just going to swing around to the outside. Look at everything. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't do that, but that's what I've been doing. What a mood. I love the ruin, like the walls. I don't think I've ever seen anybody use that like that. And those trees, like the jungly drapey trees, perfect for this style. So cool. He's just standing there looking at the wall. <laughs> I like the ivy, yeah. That roof line. We have a nice little swing set over here. This is a nice little family home, right? Ooh, the futuristic car uh, parking area over there. Cool. Yeah, it was the first time I used the debug walls. Was pleased how they worked. Yeah, it looks really cool. Oh my goodness. Um, okay. So we have this little end tree area. Bar area. Oh, and that com. That com looks like, like it's a little com link thing. Looks exactly like a bar shaker to me. So it looks like you use it that way as well. What on earth? A lovely, perfect martini shaker, exactly. Um, entry area, I love how you like, there's the floor is different like that. Very cool entryway, yeah. Yes, definitely. Um, here we go outside, some pictures on the wall, wow, yes, this is really cool. Oh man, that is cute. 
Wow. Just everything is just tied together. Sorry about my driving, y'all. Look at this. It's so cool. You've actually managed to like make the the bench booth seats like work. Oh, I love that the artwork together. Did you like sink that into the wall? What? That's really cool. Thank you, Matt. Sorry I have to go. I'll try and catch your next stream. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for letting us tour your creation. I really appreciate that. Have a great rest of your day. Um, it's a debug eco thing. I was so happy how I sunk it into the wall. Yeah, it's really cool. Use the tool mod, I'm sure. Those rugs work. Like, this is just all really nicely tied together. Different. It's all a little bit different, but it all, like, is cohesive. A little bit, but not that much. Oh my gosh. This is so adorable, this little area. You all look at this. Really cool. Check out the tea party on the floor. <laughs> Cute. All the little details. Man, did you like put stuff up there? What? So cool. And this screen, I don't even think I've like, is that a door or is it a screen? I don't even think I've seen that. Oh my gosh, cutest. Yeah, it is cute. Did I miss anything? No. I like this like kind of bump out wall. So this was a shell challenge. That's even, that makes it even more trick like the fact that you worked with with what you had another batu debug thing pretending it's kitchen pantries that's what, like that's what i thought it was whoa um oh it's a closet just a little closet we'll look at it from above after some space prints Okay, what did you do here? That's really cool. Created this kind of custom thing. Wow, yeah. Wow, indeed. All right. Somebody likes Star Wars, that's for sure. The kid in this room so like the clutter is so perfect whoop I love it hey angel how are you doing welcome on in today can I get a shout out for angel ways please uh, just another little closet. Again, we'll have to look at the we'll have to look at those closets um, from above because they're kind of hard to show off. This looks so cool. Oh my gosh, the yellows. I like how you really, Elder Jim. Thank you for that follow. Welcome on into the Blue Jay Band. How are you doing today? Uh, just relaxing as best I can. Good, good. I'm glad you're. I'm glad you're trying. I know it's tough. I know it can be tough when you're in pain to to find even a position to relax in sometimes. But 
uh, watching from my phone today. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, Elder Jim. Welcome on in. Thank you for that shout out, Sarah. I really appreciate that. Oh man, the drama of this room. I want this room. Beautiful, look at that, look at that. love for all. Thank you, Math, for that love. Allergies are the boss today, but I'm coping. Oh, boy. Aller I've been getting allergies lately, and I haven't my whole life, so I, f I feel you, because now I'm, like, finally going through it for the first time. This is really cool, too. So detailed. Yeah, I feel like I gotta, I've got to be missing a bunch of stuff. There's so many details here. Okay, I'm always a little hesitant of using the soap slash lotion thing next to the bed just because, you know, you know, this is family friendly, so I'm not going to spell it out too much, but it's one of those things in building I don't ever, I don't ever pair a bed and the lotion next to each other. Lude, lude indeed. Um, I feel that. Yeah, allergies, no fun, no fun. I love these little, like, balcony areas. Really cool. Uh, did we do it? Nope, I didn't do this one yet. I love this build, but stop trying to get me to buy the two, dang it. Right? Like, you seeing how awesome it is? The floor, okay, the floor, the two floor is just, there's so many... It is, it is. Okay. What have I missed? Paint a little painting area out here. The bonsai bush for your what skill is that? I can't even remember right now what skill. Gardening? Gardening probably. Um Retro Park is the queen of Clutter and making it look fantastic. Absolutely. Too bad you must have joined the Batu she called. <laughs> yeah. Uh, look at this floor. Oh, the phone autocorrect. Right? I knew I knew you meant Retrolark. Gardening. Yes, Retrolark is the queen of Batu builds. Yes. Yes. Okay. Did I get everything now? I'm, I feel, I'm, my brain is really kind of overwhelmed right now. So let me just take a look from above. Make sure we got everything. Oh yeah, and to kind of look at those closets too. Look at that. Like, look at all the clutter that we weren't able to see. That retro lark has put. Like a lightsaber and the training. The training thing there. All of the detail. Must download build build is all but two. My most downloaded build is all but two. Interesting. Yeah, I... I'm not surprised. Builders, builders lo be loving Batu. That's for sure. And then just double check down here that we got it all. Yes. Okay. Let's now go out. Uh, you got an EA fave for that one, didn't you, Elder Jim? I love clutter and build. Yeah, me too. This is cool. Look at this, y'all. Like, combining that uh, Batu wall sculpture and that clock looks really cool. All right, so we have some sort of outdoor area here. I love that table. Snowy escape table, right? Oh, man. 
some of the things just combine so perfectly. Uh, I think mine is the first shell challenge I did for Astro Babe. Uh, that's genius. I think I got a fade because they wanted to say, hey, Batu could be cool. <laughs> well, you know, that's okay. Because it means it was cool. Okay, this is... This is... How did I not see that that went outside? I, did, did all you notice that it, like... was outside. I think I thought it was a mirror. Yeah, I thought it was a mirror. Uh, Batu table, I think, as far as most downloaded goes. Yeah. Wow, that's really neat. Love it. Okay. Now we have... We have some equipment out in the backyard, uh, which is weird since it's showing anything that was in the room. I know um, it's not showing it I, for whatever reason, though, my brain eh, and I'm not the only one, apparently. So nice little pool area. Mirrors are so glitchy in this game. Well, that's true. Like, who knows what you're going to see um, or not see. This cute little bath or like um, pool toys. The platforms work really well in this area. The mirrors bug me out sometimes. Yeah, they really do. Oh my gosh, look at it with the birds on the edge, the edges. Um. Very, very detailed. This is a lovely little area. I like how you kind of built it in. Oh, uh, GG Bobble the Bee on winning those bird seeds. I haven't gambled all day long. Those birds are my new pink flamingos. <laughs> yeah, I love those too. It is a, okay. So we have this like little hot tub area with the plants overgrown. Man, love it, love it. And then we have this like outdoor shower area. Brilliant, love it. Wow, okay. And then we have our, you know, TIE fighter landing area. I think that's a TIE fighter. Um, math, GG winning those bird seeds. Limmer, GG winning those bird seeds. I guess, I guess uh, Streamlabs is feeling generous today. Totally normal to have that in your back. Totally normal. Totally. All right. Did we get everything? Oops, we we missed this little bike area. This car park, um, driveway area, and then the bikes. That's really cool. It's an X-wing. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I mean, the wings make an X, so. But you know, my brain, my brain. A lot of times, I don't even try because. When I do try, I just end up frustrated, but, um, all right. Did I get everything? And now we get to look at the beauty of the Batu lighting as well. Love it. Love it. Oh, look at what that night sky. It's just, it's so lovely. Great build. A retro Lark. Great job. Can we get some love and hype from Retro Lark? Uh, have you filled Oasis Springs yet? Some weld jobs, some hype, any of that. Your favorite emotes. Let's show the love for this awesome build. And if you aren't convinced to, to buy Batu yet, 
I don't know. I don't know. All right, it is top of the hour. I'm going to take another quick break. Anybody who hasn't had a tour yet and wants to, um, let me know because we'll do that next. I'm going to be streaming for about another hour, I think. And then, um, so we'll get anybody who hasn't gone yet, let's do them first. Let's get, let's do their tours first. Either a tour of a build or a tour of a family. If you have a family as well, we can do that as well. Cast, a cast tour. Almost every shell is going in there. So getting close. Nice. Okay, friends. Um, thanks, Emily. Now you can all join my cult, right? Oh, I'm, I'm already on the, uh, the Batu cult, so. So yeah. Okay, gonna take a quick break. I gotta pee, let my dogs out. Um, a, a nice reminder, this is a perfect time for yourself. Get up and stretch if you've been sitting for a while. Uh, I have to get going. My sister and I have to go to the garden store. Have a great day, everyone. Limmer, thanks so much for hanging out here. Have a great day at the garden store. I'm a little bit jealous. That's one of my favorite places to be, is hanging out at the garden store. So enjoy that trip. Um, and take care. Uh, all right, self care. Yeah, stretch, get some to eat or drink. Um, quick little break here, and I will be right back. We are going to leave you with the um, the raining uh, spaghetti and meatballs. All right, folks, be back in just a few.
welcome on back everyone I hope that was a great little break for you I had to grab a little snack I was getting a little hungry and now I need to catch up on what I missed because um, I did see that Elder Jim had a message just as I was thinking. If you have time and not too many, I would not mind having that fave to her. Yeah, let's do it. It's a cloudy with a chance for meatballs. Thank you, Sarah, for doing those commands. Elder Jim, great cartoon. Thank you. Um, I agree. Emily actually makes all these BRP screens herself. I do. And we just made, we just have a new one today of the robots. My house is up. All right, math. Oh, my tea is not ready yet. Oh, boy. All right, so who who would like to go? Um, <laughs> thank you for that welcome back, Sarah. I appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We have Elder Jim who would like to go. Math who needs to go. Is that ever is is that the only two we have still who haven't gone? Um, thank you, Tails, for that welcome back. I appreciate that. Um, Angel, I don't know if you're still here, if you had one that you wanted us to tour or not. Um, yeah, so if you want us to do or want do one and we haven't toured either your build or your cast family, let me know. Now is your time. Elder Jim, yes. Um, what did Sophia... Sophia is awesome. Did she say something and I missed? Um, I'd love to join in on that. Give me the moment. No worries. Um, okay, so... Oh, you just shared the love. Thank you, Math, for being so kind to the community here. Yeah, I just wanted to spread love to my friends. Thank you so much for that. You are so sweet. We love having you here. Supporting the community. Um, let's see here. All right. So we just have a few folks. Um, just so it's fair and I don't have to pick which order. We're going to do a random giveaway. And we're going to use the bot to uh, to choose who goes in what order. So exclamation point ticket uh, in the chat. Uh, that would be for Math, Elder Jim, and Angel. Um, and then we'll have the bot pick who goes first, just to be just to be fair. Hey, cat, get out of here. The cat wants to be fed, but my daughter's gonna do it. Um, and then yes, Elder Jim, um, if you want to want to be toured at type the exclamation point ticket and anybody else if we haven't done yours yet and you're watching and you want to be entered now is the time we're going to close that out her real name is cat whose real name is cat am i not am i missing something all right i think that is everybody so we are going to close the entries here and then we will pick the winner. Angel Ways, you are up first. So hopefully that was enough time <laughs> for you to get it together. <laughs> to whatever you said you had to get together. Um, hopefully. Um, cancel. Yes. And then uh, it wasn't, it wasn't enough. Okay. I, I apologize. I'm sorry you're the winner then if you weren't ready. Um, what do we do then? What do we do, folks? What do we do? Um, is anybody in a hurry? That's that's the other question. Is anybody in a hurry needs to get out of here? 
or are you good for the next hour or so? Because we just have, so <laughs> it sounds like Angel needs a little bit more time. Um, yeah, Matt, I, I mean, I guess, why don't we just, we'll go with math. We'll go with math. Uh, if that's okay, Elder Jim, not in a hurry. Okay, yeah, that's, we'll, we'll do it that way. Thank you for understanding and having patience with me while we figure this out here. Uh, I'm switching to my computer, computer from my home. Okay, Angel. Um, friends. Um, math. Is there a button over here that I can't see? View catalog. Oh, I'm just looking in the wrong spot. Okay, so this is from math. Uh, which one is it? This bunk beds one that you just uploaded? Is that the one you would like to tour? Um, 20 by 30 and what, wor what world or a lot would you like to put it, me to put it in? All right, I need to go into Willow Creek then. Gather, oops, doing it all over again. Friends. Thirty by twenty. All right, I'm excited. Good, me too. Little did you know you're going to show up today, and it was going to be tour day, did you? And um, is build mode okay, or would you like to have it in live mode? That's the other thing. Love you. Thank you, Sophia. What is that? What What is that? Emote. Show of hands. Hands means me three. You three. What's easier for you? Uh, we'll just do build mode then. Is like if you have like a bunch of move like water or something, um, then I like to you know, or moving lights or something like that. Then I like to do it in live mode, but um, it's definitely easier to not have to have Sims on the lot because, you know, Sims do what they want to do. Because Math says he's excited and you said me too, so I said me three. Gotcha. Okay. Let's do our spin around of the, oh my gosh, he used the water slide. Math. After I was just talking about how nobody ever uses the water slide. All right. Nice little fenced in front yard. We have a um, closed line and sort of a just outdoor area. I love the mismatched chairs there. I love mismatched chairs. It's, I don't know. It's just a style thing. I don't know if I could deal with it in real life, but I love it in The Sims. <laughs> all right. So we have a little entry area with all our necessities, umbrella, shoes, things like that. Nice. Reminds me of RV. Um, okay, and then we're into the, oops, what did I do? Dining room area. Very nice, yes. Um, living, 
nice little living area. I love the cars on top of the mantle. Definitely love that. Clutter on the table, you'd absolutely see that. Let's take a, a look from this. Ooh, a big painting. I think you must have blown that up, right? Um, I don't think it's that large normally. I like it. It's a statement piece. Oh, wow. Quite the office we have going on here. I like how you framed the desk and the bookshelves with that window, like the window framed with everything. That's really cool looking. Real, like it's a real built-in. Looks like a built-in. No, I forgot to place the TV in the children's room. Place an oldie one on the dresser while you're there. Okay. I will try and see what you mean. I want this right. That's I want that office too. Okay, that's the entry where we came in. Here's our kitchen. You use these, I was just saying yesterday, I never use these cabinets, but they look really awesome here. Wow. I like this bar area. That is really cool. Nice, huge kitchen. Whoop. Love it. I wish my kitchen looked like this kitchen too. <sighs> okay, so this goes into a hallway. And we have, oh, I like the different colored towels kind of staggered like that, that looks cool. Cool bathroom. I would never think to put that in the corner like that. That's really, that really works like that. Little bathroom area. Very cool bathroom. Yeah, that's, it is cool. Uh, then this one. Kind of rustic um, outdoor feeling bedroom. I almost forgot toilet paper. Oh, I forgot to. You know what? Toilet paper is $50 in The Sims. So anytime somebody forgets it, I'm like, whatever. Um, Tammy, Tammy's 1201. Thank you for that follow. Welcome on into the Blue Jay Band. How are you doing today? Um, love this room. Love the vibe of this room. Definitely feels like you know, country, rustic country. This is the master. Okay. All right. This is... What is this table? I don't even recognize this table. Um, the teenager room. Okay. Whoop. Nice desk, and that is like the ultimate gaming computer. Earbuds, and a, what's that called? Not a Siri, but a, Lindsay, is that what it is? Oh my gosh, look at all the gaming consoles. Okay, I also wouldn't mind this room. I'd be pretty happy in this room too. I use the stereos as computer speakers. Oh, okay, cool. That works. Oh wow, this is like so fun. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of, this child needs to clean up their bedroom. Um, but that's what a kid's room would look like, right? They have the tablet. Everybody's like hooked up with the electronics in this. Um, is this the one that you wanted to put the TV in and I don't use this decal either but I like it 
I definitely look like the floor of my room and that's exactly like yes remove the books and place the TV there the box one There we go. I think that's what you meant. If not, let me know. Yeah, we, we definitely... This household has all the electronic gadgets, so definitely. Um, I meant the box without antenna, but never mind. The box without antenna. This one? Like, to me, that one looks exactly like a box. Yes, okay, that's the one we need. All right, love it. And I don't know if you meant to put it on an angle like that either, but that's what I did. Um, fun, loving seeing all these builds, new to The Sims, and these builds are very inspirational. Yeah, this, doing tours like this are, are my favorite thing to do, Tammy, definitely. Uh, he had rabbit ears on it before you moved it, or am I seeing things? What? No, I don't think. Uh, I can't just not have a TV in a kid's room. You know, I when I was growing up, I didn't have a TV until I was like a, a teenager, almost a teenager. So, ooh, and here's the laundry room. Laundry slash cleaning room. Sorry if I'm bobble, bobbling you all around. I didn't see the rabbit ears. Like, good choice. No fiddling with the antenna. Yeah. Okay, did we get everything I think we did let's check from above and we have our solar panel roof always a good thing all right yeah we did we did get everything super awesome family house like there's plenty of room um Plenty of activities for everyone. Nice job, math. Really great job. I love it. I co of course, I gave the teenager a Lego. Of course. Of course. I mean, I'm, uh, I'm, I've been adult forever, and I still play with Legos. So, never too old for Legos. Yeah, I'm clipping it. It was there. Yeah, do it. I, I would love to watch that back. Um, can we get some love and hype for math in this build? Super awesome family home. Again, if you want to get it in the gallery, it is um, Mathematics 654, and it was called Bunk Beds, I believe. So do you like it? I love it. I love it. Great job. The kids' bedroom have a Brady Bunch vibes. Yeah, I thought so too. <coughs> if it wasn't clear by the colors in the bunk beds, it's a shared room of a brother and sister. Yeah, I didn't point that out, but I did notice that. Yeah, bunk beds. So it looks like there's two versions, and it's the most recent one. Awesome. All right. So next we have Angel. Are you ready? You did win win the giveaway so I will throw it out to you first if you're ready we could do you next do your do your tour next um, if not then we will go to uh, Elder Jim yeah I like math when you do that I think that you've done that in a few builds where like you've made it for like a boy and a girl <coughs> excuse me and you know like they I like how you incorporate both. Um, definitely. Can I share the clip or will it block me? I don't know. You could give it a try. You could give it a try. Jim is sh Jim for short is okay. All right. Uh, be right by back. Hang on. Okay. Um, I don't know what that is. 
dot dot dot. Let me go into mod view. Oh no, that's just what it that's just what it is. Okay. Back. So, um, Jim, <laughs> why don't we do yours? What is your gallery name? I assume by Angel saying she was stepping away that we can go ahead with yours. Um, or we could wait for her. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm really not sure what's going on. I hope you all are just hanging out, going along for the ride while I try and while I try and do the best thing I can. <laughs> Why is it not typing? There we go. Uh, Sim child, there is a monster on a bed. Mom, but you s sleeping on the top bunk. Your brother is down a child. Exactly. Weird. What, what did you discover, Angel? Um, which build are we doing, Jim? Um, where would you like me to place it? And live mode or not? The humble abode. Just hanging out. No worries here. Okay, <laughs> Sarah, thank you. Um, I'm glad you can hang. That's that's what we're doing today. We're just hanging. Real low, low key chill. Now I will fix the house and need that TV and toilet paper. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oasis Spring across from Zeth's lot. Okay. Did I go past it already? There we go. Oh, you have like over 4,000 downloads. So that that was a mass Maxis fave. Um, 20 by 15. Let's just put it in my library. Yeah, the Batu stuff uh, largely goes. Um, so this one, it must be. <sighs> yeah, and complete surprise. Yep, and a complete surprise. <laughs> oh, that that it was a fave. Um, wow, that's fun though. Tiny home. It's a tiny home. And that is so fantastic, Jim. It is. It is. Congratulations on that Max's fave. Wow, look at how cool this looks. I have never seen anything like this. Again, if you're contemplating, but too. Here's something that you can do. I keep building day RTs tonight and you can tour my build on some other stream. Absolutely. This is so fantastic, Jim. Cute. Yeah, it is really cute. Um, oh, look at that. You, like place those lights on top of the sculpture. That's really cool. And some carpet outside to look like a doormat. Oh, wow. Cool. Nice little kitchen. that You walk into a nice little kitchen right away. I like the stone. Like, I always use this count, this type of counter for outside. But in this type of build, it really works uh, perfectly. Let's turn around and take a look at the front door. We have a shoes area. Um, a little living area TV TV area bookshelf 
some chests. I like what you did there. We have a few different layers of items on that. That looks really cool. Uh, I didn't sell the books when I placed the TV. I just moved to the floor. They already have a mess. At least they read. Fair enough. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to get rid of it if you don't want to. Wow. Little incense, little desk, uh, um, desk there. I love this bedroom. Like, I would sleep in this room. Nice. And then I think this must go out. I love the light and the vent in the circle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's why it's like the vent and then the surround, but then there's the light as well. So it's like three different layers. And then we can go down, down, down. Which I think I need to um, actually go down a level. Of course, Jim has a basement. Of course. <laughs> of course. Let's turn our grid off. Um, am I missing something here? Yeah, so I, when it does that, it's like, I think, I think we're missing some stuff. Um, just a little, like, innocent reading nook. I like it. What? Just ignore the game and deleting half of the things. Ooh, fancy. This is a nice bathroom. Love it. Love it. And the use of the Realm of Magic doors is actually, like, it really fits. I wouldn't think to do that, and I feel like it really works. All right. Take a look from above. Nice, just a nice little basement area. And then, so like this is totally functional. I could easily play in this with a family. And I love, I love me a tiny home as well, so. And then, Let's just go out. Um, just go out and see what we have outside. I like to imagine that the small TV was the hand-me-down twice. It was the living room TV, and then it was the oldest son's TV, and now it's in the twins' room. Yeah, that's basically how I inherited all all my stuff. Is is kind of that exact process of hand-me-downs. Just a nice little uh, yoga mat in back, so you can enjoy the outdoor space. Really awesome. Really awesome, adorable build. With the surprise Max's fave. But you know what? I could see why. Like, it looks, it's very usable. It's really unique. Like, it's really cool. And it shows off the two, which they need. They need all the good vibes they can get with the two so yeah a unique little house yeah uh they want to watch void critters they don't care about the shape of the tv yeah i mean they do have that void critter um machine so it does look awesome can we get some hype love for elder jim and this awesome tiny home build love it definitely love it thank you thank you for showing off your build i really appreciate that for hanging out here, supporting everybody else. Uh, unique little house. Yes, yes.
Thank you for everybody for showing that love and hype. I really appreciate that. Angel Ways, I thought I, ha I thought I was following you in the gallery, but what is your gallery ID? Maybe I'm not, or maybe I just didn't see it. The game consoles look too huge next to a normal size TV. Time to size them up. Angel Ways, that's simple enough. Without the one. And which a lot are we doing? Or or Cass. I mean, a console isn't the height of a 32-inch... Yeah. <sighs> That's true. Since you have a love of Star Trek, I think it's only fitting that you two Captain Sim Cards Fen Torrid. Okay. That's definitely fitting. Way down before I ever used cheats. <laughs> okay. Um, what world is it going in? Do you have a preference? Star Trek, so excited, I know. I'm, yeah. I don't remember, okay. Possibly Willow Creek. Why don't I do the... We'll filter it out. Right now I'm looking through all of them. We'll do lots there. Heading out to Doys, but I'll check the VOD for the next build. All right. All right, Bloody Canary, enjoy it over at Doids. I, I I will be wrapping it up, so I might see you over there um, if he is still on. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great rest of your day. Mallard Lodge Sanctuary. Nice. Um, the Mallard Lodges. Shell Challenge. Okay, cool. <laughs> wow, this is cool. The... F Fever forever. That was without cheats. That's incredible. I don't I don't know. That's so impressive. People who build without cheats. Same with the dragons and trains. Yeah, this one? Wow! You all... You are a prolific builder. You have a lot of content on here. You're in the right neighborhood. Okay. You just can't have a kid room without mess, or an adult for that matter. Definitely. Like, it definitely adds to the realism of... Okay. So I must have passed it. It is called...
Captain Sim Cards Fen Tord. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Aha, got it. 50 by 40. What is that in the background? A play on 10 forward? I, ass I assume. Newcrest? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It might be Newcrest. Yeah, okay. We got it. A restaurant. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I like it already. All right, so I think that is everyone, right? I think this is, I think we got through a build or a cast from everyone who wanted to today. So I feel really good about that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you all see it or am I blocking it? It looks like the freaking Enterprise. What? Angel. So creative. I haven't even seen it yet, and it's already so creative. Are y'all are y'all seeing this? What? No cheats or anything. Do all builds need to be CC free? Yeah, because I don't have I don't have any CC, so super impressive. And it's a restaurant, okay? What? What even? Phasers are on and I am stunned. Well said. It was before I knew the roof thing out of the brackets key. Well, it's, it's really cool. And all these lights. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's turn our grid off. We're going to move about. So fun. What a freaking fun idea. We have some skating. We have the pond. All the lighting. Yeah. We're moving really slowly, but... Hype. Absolutely. Absolutely some hype. Okay. Okay. That's too slow, even for me. I like how you use these, um, are those from Get Famous, those big wall pieces? Like they totally work perfectly here as, you know, some sort of like futuristic support beam thing, mission quest thing. I'm not even sure where they're from. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from the Get Famous. For real, it's so hecka cool, yeah. Then we have a little like wedding venue for those of you who want to get married looking like Spock and Kirk. I don't know. In my world, Kirk and Spock would have got married, but nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Now we go up, up, up the stairs. Slowly, we slowly go up the stairs. Nicely placed. Okay. We have our control room, it looks like. For the Enterprise, of course, or whatever. Whatever this is called, not the Enterprise, but same idea. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we have, whoops, sorry y'all, our, whoop, now we're going to move real fast. I apologize for that. Our um, booth, our checkout, where you get a table. And we have this platform, just kind of real drama looking out over, out through the window there. Um, what is the menu of this place? That's a good question. The host station, yeah. Unlike most shared bedrooms, this one don't have sizes and both kids' items are all over. The parents got them gendered items so they don't care and they share everything. I'm not even sure. We can we can look after we're done touring. That would be, that would be a good question. Um, didn't I put the... Oh, it's because the roof is clear so that's why so we have the waiter station some chess piano for some entertainment the tubes I wish like in Sims 3 we had those tubes that were functional I wish we could get something like that in the Sims 4 I, lo I love that I use those all the time and then looks like the kitchen area is probably here Oop, and everything's disappeared again. Or not. I'm sorry it's moving so fast, y'all. Let's just go from up above. I want the, the second floor had bathrooms. Chess in the restaurant, but they will ignore the meals and just come to watch the epic games. That's okay. Uh, does Guinan tend bar? She should. <laughs> uh, that would be awesome. I want tubes too. Yeah. Um, I miss the bathrooms apparently. Oh, and there's, yeah, so there's the bar. We have chess. We have, um, a couple of tables. I like that. And then the kitchen. And then... Oh, those are just, that's really cool what you did there. Inside there. Let's make it look like lights. And then, so the other floor we missed. I didn't go this way. Because I came up the stairs and I just didn't even look back behind me. Then we have our restrooms very futuristic I like it whoa um <laughs> wow what a cool build cool idea I uh, yeah you all all in your builds and your creativity. So fun. So fun. <laughs> Thank you for sharing this, Angel. I really appreciate that you that you knew that I would appreciate it. Um, can we get some love and hype for Angel and this awesome Star Trek inspired build? Uh, great build, great punny Nake. You're most welcome. I thought you'd like this one. Yeah, definitely. I definitely do. Um, great punny name. 
Was there a robotic station? Yeah, it looked like there was on this level here. Because, you know, you got to work on your androids, right? Yes, let's get some love and hype out to Angel. You all, you all are awesome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And, um, showing me your tours, showing me, showing me your builds. I really appreciate that. I really do. Like I said earlier, Data needs loving too. He definitely does. Fully functional and programmed in various techniques. I can't remember exactly what the quote is, but you, you all know what I'm talking about. Um. It would be cool to see a restaurant like this in real life. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. I would love that. You can't just not build the robots at the restaurant. I think you could actually hire Sims there. You need to. <laughs> they need to pay the money. Um, right up Emily's Alley. Absolutely. Love the Star Trek. I did switch out all my Star Trek alerts just because, you know, um, now we're now we're blue blueberry themed. And then I don't have to worry about, you know, any of the DMCA stuff as far as video. Like when that comes down the pipeline, that's, I don't want to have to worry about that. So, all right, y'all, we're going to go on a raid. Uh, Apollo, welcome on in. We are just, we're just ending uh, ending our stream. Great to see you though. Um, how are you doing? How are you doing? I, I haven't figured out where we're going yet, but. Let's show the love to wherever we're going next. Um, show them that this community can can share the love. That's that's my hope for for us that we can do that. I just have to find somebody first. That's the thing. Um, gonna miss that. Thanks for being here. You totally made my day. It is yeah. I. I'm glad that you're here. I, I know you're totally bummed that you missed the um, the spooky build, but I'm glad you did make it here eventually. I'm doing good. How is you? Ninster. Yeah, we could go over to Ninster. I don't think we've... Let me double check. I haven't visited her in a while. No. Um, back in December was the last time. So yeah, that's a good suggestion, actually. Um I'm doing okay. Thank you for asking. I, I appreciate that. All right, we are going to go head over to Ninster. Oh, did I get the right one at the end? Hello, beautiful humans. Yes, one love racer. Welcome in. We are going on a raid now. Great to see you, though. I will be back next weekend. Um, I'm happy I saw your tweet and popped in. Yeah, I'm glad you did too. It's so great to hang out with everybody and see everybody's wonderful builds. Totally made my day. Totally made my day uh, hanging out with you all. We are going to go share the love over to Ninster. Let me just copy that now. Emily doesn't have a regular schedule. I don't. So follow me on the Twitter, on my Discord. That's the best way to know when I'm going live. I always post in those two areas. Glad I was able to hang out for a little bit. I'm glad you are too, Angel. I miss you. Uh, I love you, Emily Blue J. I love you too, Apollo, as part of the Emily G. Oh, thank you for posting those. Sarah, let's get some love for Sarah too, our mod. She is awesome, working hard, getting you all those uh links everyone thank you so much for being here i really appreciate you all have a great rest of your day i will see you next weekend um thank you again for letting me tour your builds take care everyone i love you bye
bot is a little bit slow today, Lindy. So it works, but it's taking its sweet, sweet time before it bothers. We are, um, <laughs> I'm Nini Anderson's Book Builder, for those that don't know.